That was on Scott? Sound on. Oh, yeah, we got to open that other thing, too. Yeah, open the other thing, too. Yes, sir. There you go. Okay, we're on. All right. Praise God. God is good all the time. Yes. All Amen. Time. Well, happy Sunday morning to you. Feliz domingo por la mañana. Bienvenidos. Prepárese a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted. You prepare to receive what God has for you. Amen. He's got something for you. If, if, if you don't, then just stay there and say, I want something. <laughs> stay there and say, I want something. You got something for me. But you know what? He always has for us because he's yes. Father. And Father always has something for his yes, children. Yes. Amen. So yes. praise God. So a happy Sunday morning to you. And prepare yourselves to receive. God wants to bless you. God wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. And he wants to correct you. Él los quiere yes. bendecir. Los quiere animar. Y los quiere cam cambiar. Y los quiere corregir. Amen. Sometimes we take that and say, oh, man, he wants to correct me. Uh, yeah, well, he's not finished with us. You know, just like a good parent, you know, a good mother, father. They want to correct you in the right ways to go, amen, and make sure we go the right way. So, amen, he don't want to leave you the same way. He wants to change you. So get yourselves ready. Those of you that are listening by audio or watching by video, we welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Ben, amen. So praise God, los que estén escuchando por audio o los que estén viendo por video, prepárense a recibir lo que el Señor tenga para usted, amen. Así es que prepárense. So be ready, amen. Um, grab your Bibles, grab your swords, mighty soldier of God, and let's say it like you mean it, church, amen. Yeah. This is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You know what? You can say that on a daily basis by yourself as you spend time with Him. I want to change. Yes. Amen. Pastor Pat's talking about one day at a time. <laughs> it's one day at a time. Amen. One day at a time. Amen. Praise God. He's given us another day to serve him. And uh, we, we are going to serve. Amen. Praise God. Whatever that was, that's good. I <laughs> Amen. So he has a great message for us. Amen. And uh, I want you to grab it. I want you to grab it, and this is it, and this can go in all kinds of directions, amen, but it, it's about this, he's above all, amen, yeah. he's above all things, and we're going to be talking about casting your cares on him, because he cares for you, amen, amen? we're just starting off a new year, we're just starting off a new day, but guess what, the cares of life, the storms of life, uh -huh. those giants that are facing you on a okay. daily basis are still there, amen. But you have to be the soldier of God, and you have to be the one preparing yourselves to go out into the fields, amen, and uh, be have the greater one in you, have the word in you, so that you can share with this lost world about your Jesus, amen. amen. Awesome testimony there, Miss uh, Jesse. I received that, amen. But anyway, I just wanted to read this to you, and uh, I had asked Patricia late this morning if we could sing it, but... Let me read you some of these words, and we're talking about above all. Mm -hmm. And it's a beautiful song. I love it myself, but I just want to read it to you like this. It goes like this. It says, above all powers, above all kings, above all nature, and above all created things, above all wisdom, and above the ways of man, you were here before the world began. <laughs> Hallelujah. Apparently, yeah. this one makes me want to bust out crying, man. Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, mm -hmm. above all wealth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you're worth. Praise God. Whew. Hallelujah. He's crucified, laid behind a stone. He lived to die rejected and alone. <laughs> you think you're rejected. You think you, the enemy tries to put you through all of these things. Mm -hmm that Jesus already went through. Yeah. He said, whatever I've gone through, wh whatever you go through, I've already been there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So he's done all this and paid for it. He went to the cross and paid for it so we don't have to go through these things. If you ever feel lonely, if you ever feel alone, <laughs> it's a good time to have a relationship with Father God. Amen. <laughs> See? Because you're never alone. He says he's always right. with us. Yes. And if you want to continue, I think... Uh, I forgot, uh, oh, I think it was when 
Jesse was talking. <laughs> Remember, church, we are a, a, a tribe in. We're a spirit, we have a soul, and we live in a body. Oh, Lord. Amen. If you don't feed your spirit, man, the word of God, yeah. and if you don't renew your mind, your mind, your will, your emotions, your soul with the word of God, your body is going to rule. And your body says, I don't want to go to church. <laughs> and the rest, if the rest have not been fed, uh -huh. the word of God, they're just going to say, okay. <laughs> so they're going to agree with your body. <laughs> so guess what? He says, your body, you have to crucify. Uh -huh. Crucify the flesh. Crucify the body. Because the in Ephesians, it tells us, I think it's in Ephesians. Check with me, okay? Uh, or it's Galatians where it says the spirit and, and, and the flesh. <laughs> the spirit and the flesh, they fight each other. Uh -huh. They're against each other all the time. In chapter 5, he tells us they fight each other. Uh -huh. Guess what? The one you feed the most is going to dominate. That's right. So we got to feed our spirit, man, the word of God. Yes. And we got to renew our minds to the word of God uh -huh. because we are in this never, uh, negative world all the time, you know, and it can bring you down. And if you don't renew it, you're just going to side with yeah. Your flesh with your body. So fill yourself up, you know, yeah. and crucify the flesh <clears throat> and put a zip on the lip, you know, <laughs> because well if you're not renewed, you're just going to repeat anything you hear. Yeah. And we're not parents. God has created us and we're to confess what the word of God says. Amen. Yeah. So praise God. God is good. All the time. Above all things, cast all your cares on him yes. because he cares for you. Amen. God says I am above all things. Yes. He says he is the great I am. Yes. And then I'm going to read you a couple of scriptures and you can write, you can mark these down. But we've been talking about this. We've been talking about magnifying your God and not your problem. All right. You know, hey, you hear people out there all the time saying, man, I got some big problems. Mm. And don't just hear that. But, you know, if God inches you over to say, you know what? You have a bigger God. Mm. You know what? I have a bigger God. And I can yeah. pray. We can pray right now. Amen. But God, God can help you. Amen. He's help in time of need. Amen. <laughs> Magnify your God and not your circumstances. I guarantee you, you will always have problems in this world, in this yeah. life. But they must not be or become your focus. That's right. Amen. Because we can just talk the problem all the time and you're magnifying your problem all the time and not your God. Amen. So you just forget about God. Amen. You put him aside. When you feel yourself shrinking in a sea of circumstances that cause you what? Anxiety, scares, concerns, fears, panics, problems, troubles. I know none of you have a big man. I'm just talking about Jose here. Amen. <laughs> he says, just call on me. Help me, Jesus. Guess what he says? I'll be there. Have you heard that song? I'll be there. Bless you. I'll be there. Even if you have to say it a thousand times, don't be discouraged. He says, I'll be there. He says, I know your weakness, and I know you. But he says, just call on me. <coughs> Help me, Jesus. He says, yeah. I'll be there. Amen. So, you know, we talked about a little bit about the the footprints on the sand last week, <laughs> they were there. When he says, where were you when all these things was going on? He says, I was there. I was the one carrying you. Yeah. You know, you see a lot of this on Facebook here recently. You know, I made it this far because of God. I made it this far because of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Man, <laughs> if you only knew my past and, yeah. and what things I went through mm -hmm. and how many times the enemy almost took me out. But I've been this far. I got this far because of him. Yes. Now we need to turn it around and serve him. Amen. Amen. No, he's he's watching me now. He's been watching me all this time. But now I know the truth. Says the truth is going to set me free. I want to be free from those things. Amen. Um, let me see. Let's go to Matthew 14. I want to read something here for you. Awesome. I got a few things I want to read for you, but if you turn uh, your Bible, open your Bibles. Open your Bibles to chapter 14 and Matthew 14. 
And we're going to start at verse 22. Matthew 14. And we're going to start at verse 22. Amen. Uh, mine starts off with this. Jesus walks on the sea. Now you follow with yours. I'm going to read from the Amplified, okay? <clears throat> then he directed his disciples to get into the boat and go before him to the other side. While he sent away the crowds, and after he had dismissed the multitude, he went to the hills by, him, by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was still there alone. Verse 24. But the boat was uh, by this time on the sea, many furlongs. A furlong is one eighth of a mile mm. distance from the land, beaten and tossed by the waves from the wind was against them. You know, the storms of life is going to come. Mm -hmm. Here's Jesus says, what he told his disciples, go. Mm -hmm. Go. And your mission field is out there. You got to go. Your mission's out there. He says, go. And that's our command, is to go and do for Jesus. Amen? And um, 24. Uh, 25. And in the fourth watch, between uh, three... 3 to uh, 6 a.m. on the night, Jesus came to them walking on the sea. <laughs> Verse 25. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, mm -hmm. they were terrified. They were afraid mm -hmm. and said, it is a ghost. Mm -hmm. And they screamed out with frights. <laughs> Here's this macho yeah. disciples. <laughs> yeah. And they see Jesus. They say, see, say, they see Jesus walking on the water. And then they say, is a ghost. <laughs> they screamed out with fright. But, verse 27, but instantly he spoke to them, saying, take courage. And we're talking about, above all, he's talking about I am. Yes. He says, I am. Stop being afraid. <laughs> you chickens. He says, stop. In verse 28, and Peter answered him, Lord, if it's you, command me to come to you on the water. Amen. Peter is the macho, okay? The rest of them just still scared. Peter <laughs> says, if it's you, Lord, you know, command me to come. Mm -hmm. In verse 29, he says, come. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Peter got out of the boat and walked on the water, and he came uh, towards Jesus. Yes. In verse 30. But when he perceived and felt the strong winds, he was frightened. And as he began to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. Mm -hmm. And the uh, Amplified says, from death. Mm -hmm. 31, instantly Jesus reached out his hand and caught him mm -hmm. and caught and helped him, uh, saying to him, oh, you little, oh, you of little faith. Mm -hmm. Why did you doubt? And 33, excuse me, verse uh, 32. And when he got into the boat, the wind ceased. Yeah. And 33 says, and those in the boat nailed and worshiped him, saying, mm -hmm. truly, you are the Son of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. How many times we've said that before, you know? Yes. Jesus does all these things and says, oh, my God, truly, he was the Son of God. Praise God, he is. And he, he is the Son of God, and he's yes. coming back. Amen. Amen. A couple other scriptures I want to read to you. Uh, you can mark these down. Exodus 13, 14. We're talking about above all. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about God says, I am. I am. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's the great I am. Exodus. Uh, well, I've got it here. You can follow. Exodus uh, 3, 14 says, and God said to, unto Moses, I am that I am. And you, uh -huh. all, those words are in capital letters. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> and he says, Thou shalt, um, shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Say to the children, he's going to lead the children of Israel, and he says, just let them know that the I am has sent you. Yes. Amen. So praise God. Guess what? God sent me. <laughs> Who sent you? Why did you come here? God sent me. Amen. He did. Yes. <laughs> so. Praise God. <laughs> the I am has sent me unto you. Amen. And uh, we're going to read a, 
three more scriptures here. It's in Revelation 1, 8, 1 18 says what? It says, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, he says, the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, says the Almighty. Yes. Praise God. He is the I am. In James, uh, in uh, John 14, 6, Jesus, well, everybody, we know the scripture very well. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, uh -huh. the truth, and the life. Yes. It says nobody goes yeah. to the Father That's except right. through me. That's Amen. It. So yeah. guess what? <clears throat> we need to increase our relationship with him because yeah. he is the way. Yes. <laughs> he is the, the truth and he is the life. Yes, and we is. need to go through him to get to the Father. Amen. If you were in the, you can't buy your way, you can't That's go right. any other way except <laughs> through the Father. Amen. That's so right. I don't know what you're reading or uh -huh. what so and so said, but <laughs> if it's not in the Bible, if it's not in the Word of God, if it's not in Scripture, uh -huh. forget it. <laughs> and uh, what's that uh, sign that says uh, 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 stop uh, road and Oh, stop, stop, stop and roll, drop. Stop, and drop, and roll. Ain't gonna work in, in hell, okay? So <laughs> that ain't gonna help you. <laughs> John five. You don't have OSHA. John five fifty eight says this. Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you that before Abraham was, I am. Amen. And these are in capital letters. Amen. So praise God. I just want you to know that he is above all things. Amen. Yes, he, is. he is the great I am. Amen. Praise God. Amen. <clears throat> Emotions can run very high and are even paralyzing at some point. A loss of strength, a loss of control can happen due to uh, carrying the situations, these cares, these extra weights yeah. around you. Amen. <laughs> he said, he told his disciples, oh, you are little faith. He said, don't be afraid. He wants us to know that he is with us. Yes. Amen. He wants us to know that he is with us. Amen. Yes. So anything facing you, anything coming against you, he is for you. He says, I'll be there. Yes. I am there. He's already there. You know, before you get to it, he's already been there. Yes. <laughs> so praise God, he is there. Amen. First Peter 5 and 7 in the Amplified says, all means all. This is Jose. All means all. But he says, casting all your cares, yes. all your anxieties, yes. all your worries, yes. all your concerns, Amen. once and for all on him. For he cares about you with deepest affections and watch over you very, very carefully. Amen. Yes. So praise God. He says, cast it all on. You know, whatever, you, whatever it is that makes you stop. And I told you this last week. Some of the things that make you stop may not affect me, but you know that you can speak the word, and God will see to it those things will cease, yeah. amen? Whatever's making you stop, yeah. cast those cares on him, amen? He don't want you to carry those things anymore. Whatever it is, just give it to him. He says I, he wants them. He says, cast them on me. You know what cast means? I mean, that's Lord, throw it. Yes. Yep. Don't just lay them down and say, well, maybe I want to take them back. <laughs> he don't want you to take them back. He wants you to cast them on him. Give it to him. All those things that are coming against you. All those things that want to make you stop. All those things that want to make you feel like you ain't worthy. You're no good. You know, <laughs> all those things. And you hear these things, you know, when, when you're talking in your coffee breaks at, at work, when you're out there in the world, mm -hmm. whatever you're doing, you know, you hear all these things, you know. Yes. Well, I can't do this, you know. Uh -huh. uh, I'm not good. You know, when you go to the employment office, when you go uh, to your jobs, apply for jobs or whatever, he says, well, you're no good. You're not qualified. You're not educated. All these things will face you all the time. But you know what? When you have Jesus... You can do all things, you know. Yeah. You don't have to go to a college. You don't have to go to Bible school to preach the word of God. That's right. It's in you. You know, you get the word in you and drive out all those fears out of you. And faith will build up. Amen. And it says, out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of yeah. living water. Yes. Amen. Amen. And you speak the word of God. And I was glad when Jesse says, he says, are you a religious man? 
Are you a Christian? Do you have Jesus yeah. in your heart? Really? You know, hey, uh -huh. we're talking now, and the doors are open. So, uh, you know, you ask me questions, so I can ask you questions. Mm -hmm. Are you born again? Mm -hmm. uh, no. <laughs> I said, well, you can be born again right now. Mm -hmm. Wherever you happen to be, wherever mission field you're in, that's where you can that's right. uh, do the yeah. work of God. Yeah. Amen. He says, yeah. we're ministers of reconciliation. Yes. So don't tell me, well, I, I'm not, I haven't been called. Yes, you are. Yes. You've been called. Yes. You've been called, and you're also his ambassador. Yes. That means he says, you're my mouthpiece on earth. You're going to speak for me. He says, I'm the head, you're the body. Mm -hmm. We are the body of Christ. Amen. Praise God, praise yes. God, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Let go and let God. <laughs> let go and let God. That's all we have to do is give it all to him. And release it. And now it says, hey, you know what? The Bible says, I can do all things through all Christ. Things. Yes. You know, I've been held down. <laughs> and I've been sitting down. And I haven't been doing anything. But now, I can do all things through uh -huh. Christ who strengthens me. The greater one is in me. Yes, he is. Amen. Now, I'm not afraid. I've taken the authority he's given me. Uh -huh. You know, I've been holding back. <laughs> Amen. Everyone knows this, but won't do it. Amen. Because a lot of times, for those around us, yeah. people we know. Mm -hmm. Amen. I, I don't want them to see me being a Christian. <laughs> except on Sundays. I want to be a Christian on Sundays and that's it. <laughs> you know, but I want to be All like right. the world. Any other day, I want to be like the others. Oh, boy. But guess what? Jesus already knows. Yeah. You know, he knows all about you. <laughs> yes, he does. We want to hold back. Said, don't hold back. Let it all. Mm -hmm. Let it all. You know, when Peter asks to come walk on the water, he, he wants to give it all. He says, mm -hmm. I want it all. He said, yes. command me to come. Yes. And Jesus says, come. Uh -huh. That's all. You know, he don't have to read you a whole book. He just said, come. Yeah. And that was enough for him to walk on the water. Yes, it was. And the rest of them were still sitting uh, in the boat being afraid. <laughs> If God has told you to put something down, don't pick it up again. That's if God right. takes, you know, I've oh, told you this so many times, you know, Ooh. I asked the Lord to help me. Yes. Uh, I've got so many friends, you know, hey, help me with my enemies, you know. Yes. Help me with, with these enemies that are coming against me. Uh -huh. And guess what? I started losing friends. Huh. And some friends just want to be around to be used, to use yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. And that's it. That's as far as it goes. Uh -huh. And then talk about you when you're not around. All right now. Amen. So I started losing friends. So what do I do? Do I go get him back? I say no. He knows. He knows who needs to be around you. Mm -hmm. Don't pick. Don't pick him up. Don't take him back. <laughs> those sin, the cares, the problems, those troubles, those bad habits, the bad companies. Yeah. Let, let him go. Yeah. Amen. You know what? Jesus had those opportunities when he was around too, but they didn't stay around, and he didn't stay around. The two don't mix. Mm -hmm. Amen. So you have to be careful. The enemy is going to see. You these things come to you all the time. Yeah. But you have to know to say no. Amen? Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise Don't preach God, long for you. <laughs> Psalms 55 and 22. Let's go there. It's the same thing almost as 5, 7. Peter, 1 Peter 5, 7. But Psalms 55 and 22. Mm -hmm. You can mark there. Amen. You can mark it down and you can go It's right between Job and uh, Pro <laughs> Proverbs. <laughs> you ever read the book of Job? <laughs> I know it's Job. <coughs> oh, Pastor used to say, don't write me any letters. I know it's Job. <laughs> 522 says what? Yes. Um, okay. We have different translations. My, my uh, <coughs> Amplified says, Cast your burdens on the Lord. Yeah. He didn't say cast them on somebody else. No. He says cast them on the Lord, yes. releasing the weight of it. Yeah. And he will sustain you. Uh -huh. He will never allow the consistency, consistently righteous to be uh -huh. moved, That's make right. the slip, fall, or fail. That's right. Amen. And it refers to 1 Peter 5, uh -huh. 7 as well. Amen. So yeah. he says cast them all on me. Yes. He wants to, says, give it to me. Because you know what? He knows what's coming against you. Yeah. 
yeah. because he's already went through it. Yeah. Amen. And he says, I defeated it. Yeah. So yeah. now these things come against you. He says, just cast it on me. Yeah. Amen. Because if you don't, we've said it so many times, church, uh -huh. you're no match to the devil. That's right. Okay. That's right. You're fighting a spiritual battle mm -hmm. and you are no match for a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. You're in the flesh and you're no match for a spiritual battle. Mm -hmm. You got to get used to the word of God yes. to defeat. That's it. Amen. To defeat the spiritual. Yeah. Amen. That no weapon be come against you will prosper. Amen. That's right. Praise God. But you got to speak the word, get in the word, and be in relationship with yeah. him and know the greater point is yeah. in me. Say, wait a minute. That's what, that's what uh, David did with Goliath. Goliath, mm -hmm. oh man, the impossible to win over the giant. Yeah. And that's the rest of them, the rest of the soldiers is all scared up. Huh. And he said, well, what are you guys going to do about this uncircumcised Philistine coming uh -huh. against our God and speaking against my God? <laughs> you know, he, he was inside of him. He was a giant. Yeah. He had the God, the God in him. Yes. Amen. And you have the same God in you. You have yes. the word of God in yes. you. All you have to do is release it. Open your mouth. Release yes. it. And let it go. Amen. You have the most powerful weapon on you. You know what your most powerful weapon is? Your mouth. Yes. You speak the word of God. And then the word go out and accomplish. You know, yes. Jesus says, God says, I let words and it go, they go and accomplish what I said them to do. Yes. Because words carry life or death. That's right. And these words you can speak, but you can have what you say. Yeah. So if you go around speaking negative about oh, yourself yeah. all the time, oh, speaking yeah. problem all the time, uh -uh. you're going to have what you say. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you can speak bad about somebody else, mm -hmm. but whatever you're speaking is going to come back to you uh -huh. because it's coming back to you. You're sowing bad seed. Mm -hmm. Amen? So if you're going to say something, why not say something positive? Yes. Yeah. And the word of God says, I can do all things through Christ who yeah. strengthens me. Yeah. Amen? And the greater one is in you. John, yes. uh, First John 4, 4 says, You are of God, little children, uh -huh. and have overcome them, the cares, the troubles, the problems, because yes. greater is he that is in you mm -hmm. than he that is in the world. Yes. Amen. So guess what? I don't want to be a part-time Christian. That's right. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. That's right. And, uh, uh -huh. you know, uh, when Jesus came, and, and to the shores of, uh, uh, what's that place? Gatherings. 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 Uh -huh. You know, the man that was possessed with the devil, with the devil. Devils. Devils came running up to him uh -huh. and said, what have I to do with you? I mean, why are you here? Why are you tormenting me? Why, 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 why are you here? <laughs> Jesus, this is Jose. Who are you? He says, uh, I'm Legion. Mm -hmm. And you know Legion? We are Legion. We are Legion. There's many. And those, the armies of the enemy are united. Yes. And they're well trained. Yes, they are. Amen. They're well trained and there's no fighting amongst them. Mm -hmm. There's fighting amongst the, word, the, the people of God. Yeah. Among Christians. But the armies of the enemy That's are right. united. That's it. He says, and when they all, when he cast them out, he cast it out over 2,000 demons. Mm. And they went. Yeah. Amen. So these guys are united and they are strong. Oh. It's a regiment of well trained soldiers. Yes. Amen. So guess what? If you try to attack them physically, the man couldn't do anything. That's right. With 2,000 devils in him. That's right. He was beating himself. He couldn't, he couldn't do anything. Himself. You try to fight the enemy on your own flesh, and you're no match. That's right. Amen. Jesus already won the battle for us. That's right. All you need to do is receive him as Lord yes. and Savior and start living for him Amen. and start preaching his word. Start uh, um, bringing the word. And guess what? <laughs> you're going to be able to succeed because yes. the greater one is in you. Yes. Amen. The word of God is in you. So yes. praise God. God is bigger than any problem. God is bigger than any care. Uh -huh. God is bigger than any troubles you have. He is the great I am. Amen. So 
Whatever you think is big in this room, mm -hmm. it's no match to our God. Amen. 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 Praise God. First John 5 5 says in the uh, uh, God's World translation says, Who wins the victory over the world? The person who believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. This other translation says, Who is the one who overcomes the world? But he that believes that Jesus is the Son of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. God cares for you and will provide for you. As a matter of fact, he says, he is Jehovah Jireh. Yes. Our provider. Amen. Yes. The Lord will provide. He's my provider. So we got to sit our, on a daily basis. We got to sit well, on a daily basis. And we just started a new year. So on a yearly basis, on a daily basis, we got to set our priorities mm -hmm. right. Yes. Amen. Because guess what? Your priorities could change on a daily basis. Yes. Yes. Amen. Your priorities could change all the time. Job-wise. Yes. <laughs> Spiritual-wise. My priorities are always God first. <laughs> God first. And he tells us in Matthew 6, 31 through 33. Mm. Setting our priorities starts off with setting our priorities yeah. right daily. Verse 31 says, therefore do not worry, uh -huh. saying what shall we eat, oh. or what shall we drink, or what shall right. we wear. 32. Uh -huh. For after all these things, yes. the Gentiles seek. Uh -huh. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things. Yes, he but he says in 33, but seek first the kingdom of God Amen. and his righteousness and all these things shall be added on the earth. That's right. Amen. So I know, <laughs> Lord, I seek you first. Uh -huh. I praise you first. Mm -hmm. And you're my, you're my God. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. You worship him. You spend time with him. Lord, as I go out to the mission fields, Lord, you are with me. I can do all things through Christ yes. who strengthens me. Amen? Yes. Amen. So no enemies out there are going to succeed against me. That's right. Amen? And there's going to be some things coming against you. And if you're not in him the first time mm -hmm. you get tested, you're going to fail. Mm -hmm. Because the world will eat you up quick. Yes. Amen? The, enemy, you, the enemy's mission and his people, the enemy comes to steal, kill, and destroy. Yes. That's all he wants to do. Amen. You may be having fun <laughs> while you're in sin, mm. but you try to get out oh, and see what God. happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see what happens. Then the problems begin. Oh, yes. yes. Because he's going to see to it. He ain't going to want to let you go. That's right. That's right. Amen. It says he cast out seven demons out of this person. Mm -hmm. He says you better prepare yourself and clean this house mm. because. Those demons want to come right back to yes. their house. Their house. And if you don't clean it right, mm -hmm. they're going to come back in. Right. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. So you got to be in the Word again, casting all your cares on Him because He cares for you. Yes. Yes. So you can stay in control and not out of control. That's right. Amen. Staying in control and not mm -hmm. out of control. Mm -hmm. Staying in authority and not out of authority. That's right. Amen. Want to be a triumphant, winning Christian believer and not a defeated one. You can be a, a Christian and not use your authorities and be defeated. Amen? He didn't call us to spectate and sit and do nothing. When, right. he, when he, we talked about wait, those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength, he didn't mean for you to sit and do nothing. <laughs> we still have to occupy. We still have to do unto him. Amen? But we can do all things through Christ and we can be triumphant in the things we do. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Speak those cares, those mountains, those giants, and don't let them talk to you. That's right. Amen. You know, <laughs> no, I'm not going to go there, but when you are out with your friends or when you're out in the world and they're talking about the flu and they're talking about defeat and all these other things, and you say, you know what? I've got those same problems myself. And you call yourself a Christian? Uh -huh. You're a Christian. Uh, yeah. You know, I've got that same sickness you got. Oh, no. You know, we're giving ourselves, we're opening ourselves to the yeah. enemy to come in and, 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 and rule. Uh -huh. Amen. Remember what happened when you give him a ride? He wants to drive you. Right. Amen. <laughs> you give him an inch, yeah. you know, and he'll take a whole yard, you know. Mm -hmm. So you got you to gotta be careful what they're saying. 
may not repeat what they say, That's right. but know and say, you know, I've got an answer for you. Mm -hmm. His name is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. Yes. Philippians 4, 6, and 8 in the New Living Translation says, don't worry about anything. Mm. Don't be anxious about nothing. That's right. Instead, pray about everything. Yeah. Tell God what you need uh -huh. and thank him for all he has done. Uh -huh. Verse 7, then you will experience God's peace which exceeds anything yeah. we can understand. His peace will guard our hearts and our minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Amen. And verse 8 says, Now, dear brothers and sisters, uh -huh. one thing, the final thing, he says, fix yeah. your thoughts on what is true, yes. what is honorable, yes. what is right, what is pure, what is lovely yes. and admirable. Think about things that are excellent and worthy yeah. of praise. Right. You know, yeah. when you go into the world, <laughs> your eye gate and your ear gate can hear all these things mm -hmm. and see all these things that are happening. Mm -hmm. And you can repeat everything you see or you hear. Or, he says, instead of that, I want you to think about what is true, what is honorable, what is right, what is pure, what is lovely, what is admirable. Think on these things. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Think about what he's made you to be. Think about whose you are yeah. and what you can do through him. Amen. Amen. He took me out <laughs> of the miry clay. He yeah. took me out of the yeah. past, Hallelujah. the sinful past, mm -hmm. and now I'm a child of God. Yeah. Amen. He says, don't call yourself a sinner anymore. If he took you out of the sinful yeah. world, mm -hmm. and now I'm a child of God. Yeah. I'm a child of God. Amen. Amen. So praise God. And he's our father, and he calls us his children. Yeah. Amen. So we're his children. You know what? I may do some wrong things, but I go to the Father and says, Lord, I just want to confess my sins, repent, and mm -hmm. move on. Amen. You know, too, too many people are still hold back mm -hmm. because somebody told them, you know, uh, you sin, mm -hmm. and God can't use you anymore. And that's it. And they are stuck. Mm -hmm. They're sitting. And they never got up. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about 10, 15, 20 plus years. Yeah. It's time to say, hey, <laughs> he died for your sins. Mm -hmm. He's forgiven you. Yeah. So it's time to say, Lord, I did something wrong. Mm -hmm. And it's time to say, hey, dust yourself <laughs> off and press on. Yes. I called you to do something. I sent you on a mission. And I want you to fulfill that mission for me. Yeah. I gave you some gifts. And I want you to get those gifts for me. Yes. Thank you, Lord. That's why you can do all things through him. Whatever he's given you to do, I say, I can do. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. Amen. And God wants us to cast all those anxieties on him. Amen. He doesn't want the, uh, he don't want us to be in, uh, <clears throat> anxious or worried about anything. That's right. Uh, Psalms 37, 5 says, give or cast your way over to the Lord. Trust in him also. He will do it. Yes. Proverbs uh, 16 and 3 says, Commit your works to the Lord, and your plans will succeed. Mm -hmm. Amen. Lord, yeah. I thank you that I'm going to succeed because I'm giving you all these. I'm committing Amen. my works to you. And I'm going to read this last scripture, and then we're going to close. Amen. <laughs> Amen. 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 <laughs> I want to read it to you from uh, Philippians. Uh, I mean, from the easy, easy to read version. <laughs> Philippians uh, 3, 12 through 14. Chapter 3, verses 12 through 14. I don't mean that I am exactly what God wants me to be. Oh. I have not yet reached the goal, but I continue trying to reach it and uh -huh. make it mine. Yeah. That's what Christ Jesus wants me to do. Yes. It is the reason he made it is the reason he made uh, me his. Uh -huh. Brothers and sisters, I know that I have still had a long ways to go, but there is one thing I do, forgetting what is in the past, yes. and I'm trying as hard as I can to reach the goal before me. Yes. I keep running hard towards the finish to get the prize that is mine because God has called me towards Christ Jesus to life up there in heaven. Amen? Amen. So one thing we must do, once you confess your sin, uh -huh. then... Forget about it. Yes. But you know, the enemy is going to bring people around you to say, 
remember what you did. Oh, and they want to keep you in bondage mm -hmm. the whole time. Mm -hmm. But if you would confess it to him and he's forgiven you, it's time to press on. Yes. Yes. When they come and tell you what you've done, you say, you know, I don't live there no more. Mm -hmm. You're talking to a different person. Yeah. Amen. If God forgave me, I don't care if the world don't want to forgive me. Mm -hmm. If God forgave me, I don't care if brother or sister or family don't want to forgive me. Mm -hmm. I've got peace with him. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I'm going to go and complete what he's called me to do. And I'm going to forget about the past. <laughs> Amen. You may have whatever your past may be. Mm -hmm. Your past is different than mine. Amen. You may have gone to prison. You may have killed somebody. You may have whatever you've done. It doesn't matter. That's right. If you go in the Bible and you read your Bible from cover to cover, all the people God ever used That's right. had sin in their life. Yes. Amen. Amen. They were never, none of them were perfect. That's right. What you need to do is you need to say, you know, I'm making myself available to you, Lord. Amen. He's looking for available people. He's yes. not looking for perfect people. There's not going to be no perfect people except Jesus. That's right. Okay? But when you make yourself available, you're saying, Lord, whatever you got from me, yeah. I'll do. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. And he talks about the physical body. Mm -hmm. You know, this physical body has many parts, mm -hmm. and they all do a function. Big or small, they all work in unity. That's right. And this body is functioning in unity That's at all times. Mm -hmm. You know, can you imagine yourself going crazy? Would this arm want to go that way and that arm want to go that way? <laughs> or this leg wants to walk that way and the other one wants to go backwards? <laughs> it's working in unity. And that's what the body of Christ needs to do. We need to stop fighting uh, uh, denominations. Our brothers and sisters, we are the body of Christ. Yes. And we need to come together and attack the enemy, Amen. the only enemy we have, not brothers and sisters. Uh -huh. Amen. And press on and fulfill what God has called us to do. Yes. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Amen. 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 I hope that message blesses you and blessed me and sets me free. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Knowing, don't see your weakness, see your God. That's right. Amen. 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 Don't, don't see what you can't do. That's right. See what you can do through Him. Amen. Amen. You're, the, you. you're a greater person. Yes. Than, than, than you um, think. Because the world tries to set you down, but God wants to lift you up. Amen. Praise he says he called us Amen. to fly and soar with eagles, not to scratch with the chickens. That's Amen. right. So Amen. You're, you're an eagle for God. Amen. Yes. So go and do the Lord's work. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah.